Hello, my little Z bunkers. On this episode of Foodie Bunked, we are going to three very different bar slash lounges in New York City. Each one of the places that we're going to have such different vibes. We're gonna see what are the must go to places this summer. Come along for the ride. Our first stop is Electric Lemon with completely chill and zen vibes. The inside is very modern and the outside is super relaxing with soft music and comfortable chairs. But first, if you're interested in New York City eats and drinks, make sure that you hit subscribe and follow for more. So we have a chocolate croissant. We have a regular croissant. They feel very light and fluffy. Pineapple tart and what seems to be like a, a scone. Cranberry scone. If I were to rate this seven out of 10, it's like slightly warm, buttery, soft, but nothing like, oh my God, this is the best treats I've ever had in my life. I got get fancy. Um, it's actually really hard to hold because it's, I guess it's a margarita. It didn't really say it was a margarita, but let's drink some. You can definitely taste the gin through. It has that like gin, gingery gin flavor where it's like a little like spicy and that non-spicy, I don't really know how to describe it. Like a little of that like whiskey sour type flavor to it, but not necessarily any watermelon coming through with it. It's good and it's growing on me. And these views definitely help the, the drink situation. Eclectic Lemon is definitely a vibe on the outside. The inside, not gonna lie, a little stale is cute, but it's just not it. The outside, the music is there, the furniture is adorable. You have this sculpture in the middle with the pond, and then you have beautiful buildings all around you with the water in the background. The only weird part is that you literally cannot look out the view too well because the whole perimeter is surrounded by barriers, so you can't go to the edge. So the vessel is literally right within eyes view, but you can't see it because you can't get close enough to the edge. Um, so you have to, you know, enjoy with a few little bushes in your way, but that's fine. I like the outside. Pastry's good, drink's good. Outside vibe is cute. You don't get a little, get a little dressed up and enjoy. Our second spot is new. It's in Greenwich Village and it's called Bandits. It has extremely retro vibes on the outside and inside, but inside is the place to be. It is small, it is quaint, and it's definitely a vibe. Okay, so we are now inside this awesomely cute retro place. It's very small um, and they all are filled up with reservations, but somebody canceled their reservation. We've got a see, which is super exciting. I was recommended the Lola Bunny and inside of it is lemon juice, toasted cumin seed, carrot juice, parsley, rye, angostura bitters, and they actually don't do the scotch rinse anymore. Um, and I'm not a whiskey person, but the carrot juice is very intriguing, so, and it was also the suggested favorite, so let's try it. It's really good. So you get the whiskey flavor and the sweetness from the carrot juice also makes it very um, refreshing. And in my throat, I got some cumin seed flavor, which really balanced out the flavor, but didn't overwhelmingly taste like cumin was in my mouth. It was just kind of like a really subtle flavor that peeked out at me and it's aesthetic. This is the halal part tots. And to say that this is halal part tots, it's saying a lot because you know, halal carts are the best in New York City. So let's see. It's good. It doesn't taste like halal carts to me, but it is good. Like a very good crunch value. It's more, it gives me more salsa vibes than the halal cart hot sauce, because halal cart hot sauce is hot, and it's also a red sauce. But if you look at this, this looks a little bit more like a salsa to me. It does not taste like halal cart, but it's good. I'm loving the vibes in here. We are going to go to our last place, which is a speakeasy bar. Completely different vibe from the first two places, and let's go. We are at the third and final spot. Right here, it's called Crip Dogs. However, there is a speakeasy in the back, so we're gonna go through Crip Dogs, go to the speakeasy and see what's there. I've never been, but I'm excited to see this totally different vibe from the other places. This is cool, we gotta dial the phone. I, oh. One moment, I'll be right there. All right, thank you. 
This last and final spot is a speakeasy on St. Mark's. If you're looking to wow somebody with a secret spot, this is definitely the place to go. So this is a real speakeasy because I came inside and it looks normal and there's this like door that doesn't really look like a door. And I was like, I don't know where to go. So I went to the guy and he told me to go to this phone booth, go to the phone and dial one, and then they're gonna come. And a woman came, but they're busy right now, so I guess they're gonna let us in. Um, so let's wait in our little phone booth. We are waiting, the anticipation is building. I got a little sneak peek and like, it looks cute in there. A little lounge couches, you know, a little vibe. So we're still waiting though for the, the secret lady to answer the secret door. This is an awesome place for a first date. It's like very low key, you can have really good conversation. The prices are not that bad, so the cocktails are 13 and the hot dogs are 10. So if you're trying to wow a little special somebody, I would bring them to the secret door into this place. Just make sure you have reservations. I think we got really lucky to get a seat, um, but winner, winner. <laughs> truffle fries, plus truffle tots. It's definitely made with the truffle oil. Not as hard as the crunch as the last place, but a good mix between crunch on the outside, soft on the inside. I would say this is a pretty standard truffle tot, like what you would expect if you wanted a truffle tot. All right, here's the hot dogs. Very soft bun, a little moist on the bottom. The quality of the hot dog is fantastic. The bun is delicious. The lemongrass really comes through and the country onions on the top. And the cilantro, very Vietnamese vibe, but on a hot dog, which I love the fusion to it. Um, and Walker got a kimchi hot dog, which looks really interesting too, but this is good. $10, I feel like, I don't know, because it's such a done up hot dog, I feel like that's really not a bad price. You get two for 20. Here we go. It's a strong alcoholic drink. <laughs> See, it's good, but the last drink that we had at Bandits was nuanced and had layers to the flavor. This just is foamy and that very strong in alcohol. I don't taste the sugar snap peas. I don't taste the layers to the flavor, unfortunately. It's just sour and, and strong in, in alcohol, like a tequila-esque tequila flavor. Okay, so they're really, really nice here because I did not like that last drink because it was too strong. Um, but I was so excited by that split pea juice or whatever, so I tried it anyway. He gave me a new drink. It's called the Crypto, I think. It's the first one on the menu and it's their like lightest drink. It smells really good. It's made with grapefruit juice and it smells fresh. Yeah, that's better. Good. Yeah, it is a little sweet, so if you like sweeter drinks, it's not like a sour, bitter freshness, which I usually tend towards. It's sweet. It's like um, mimosa vibes, but like done up a little more. It's good. And that was all three bars slash lounges for today. They were all unique and they were all fantastic in their own special way. Make sure you follow and subscribe for more places to visit and to eat at my little foodies.